What's up guys? My name is JTB and welcome to r slash mildly infuriating. I'm currently using old reddit because new reddit looks like this on this page and uh, uh, no, 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 no. Number five. I work as a valet. Told him he had to park it himself. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. What is half of this? Is that a shoebox? Why? Why is half of this in here, dude? Or madam? Oh, you did say told him, actually, in the thing. So it is a dude. Oh, God. Mystery stains right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. What in the hell? Dude, it looked like you drove by a landmine. Landmine. A landfill as they dropped a landmine right beside your car and just. Like, oh, God. Ew. I wouldn't want to touch that either. Who knows what kind of disease you'll get from that. Number four. After eight hours of class, everyone comes back to the dorm only to find new locks and finger scanners on the doors, and none of the staff know the codes or how we can get into our rooms? What? Then who, why? Then why? Why? It's pretty sleek, but why? Also, it's got a key. Why does it have a key thing on it? In case this gets disabled, I guess? I, you know what would be really ironic is if you could easily pick this lock. That would be hilarious. Don't pick locks, it's illegal. But that'd be funny if this entire security thing can just hairpin, boot, click, opens door. <laughs> Why? Surely, like, the dean of the school, or the principal, I'm assuming this is a college because they say dorm. I, it could be a boarding school, but regardless. I'm sure the head of the administration of the school knows the codes to these things. <laughs> and I would hope the head of the janitorial staff as well. Why? Or they have the key at least that goes in the hole. Why? Why do this? Don't do this. This is stupid. This is just stupid. Don't do this, schools. Don't freaking install locks on stuff when people aren't in the room. Like, jeez. Unless you tell them beforehand you're doing it and then they're not in the room, then that's on them. But, jeez, man. Number three. The fact you have to pay at a hospital of all places. Two places you should not have to pay for parking. The university you attend, the hospital. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Who's paying for parking at a hospital, man? You're a bit busy trying to make sure someone doesn't die. Why? I shouldn't have to worry about a fare. What the hell? What? What kind of hospital are you going to? I don't think... Not like I'm visiting hospitals every other week, but I don't think any hospital I've ever been to, which is like one, now that I think about it, maybe I'm not the best analog here. <laughs> don't have to pay for parking there. Why? Why do you have to pay for parking at the hospital? What? I mean, gosh, I mean, I've, I, the hospitals love the price gouge, but for Christ's sake. Okay, kind of had to cut this one. It got a little bit political. So, that's not happening, so I'm just gonna jump down to number six real quick, before doing number one. It's called, I mean... What? Alright, reasonableness. That's not a word, is it? Is reasonableness a word? That's one too many suffixes. That's two suffix- no, Marty ate four-sixths of his pizza, and Luis ate five-sixths of his pizza. Marty ate more pizza than Lu Luis, how is that possible? Marty's pizza is bigger than Luis's pizza. That is not possible because 5 6 is greater than 4 6, so Luis ate more. What? They do realize that, like, second graders aren't, like, trained to recognize a question bullshitting them, right? Because they're not. Like, if a second grader sees this, Marty ate more pizza than Luis after the 4-6 and 5-6, they're just going to be like, oh, okay, sure. Like, they... 
What? Also, if Mari's Pizza is bigger than Luis's Pizza, that would be true. Technically, yes. That's actually right, but... God forbid the kid actually be smart, you know? Whatever. No, you're supposed to say it's wrong because five is bigger than four. No, how about I say you're wrong because you can't write a question? How's that sound? It's like, this is like... You know what this is like? I got one thing like this in... 10th grade, we did a test, and the teacher said, I'm gonna make this, like, test in college. And it was five multiple choice, it was a five choice multiple choice test. Uh, for, like, 25 questions. And on every question, like, three of the choices fit the answer, and they did that stupid, which one is best? I don't know, because best is a subjective term. What you think is best, I might not think is best. Like, I think it's best that we don't speak in gigantic freaking 15-syllable words when a two-syllable word will work. Freaking Mark Twain, damn it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why? <laughs> God, sometimes I hated being in the smart class. Jesus. Anyway, number one. The closed door button. What a weird rant. The closed door button fell off, revealing it was never connected to the control... Uh, huh? Huh? What? What? How many other of these- See, I see that happen. I'm concerned the stop button isn't connected. I'm concerned the alarm button isn't connected. I'm concerned the help button isn't connected. I'm assuming none of these work and it's just a fancy dashboard with lights. Like... What? What the hell? Closed door- I mean- Look, I don't like elevators anyway, so I'm, I don't know, like, what a closed door button is really useful for, other than in the movie, seeing someone, like, when the one person has someone they don't like coming up and they just start pressing the freaking button, they're like, go, 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 go. Other than that, I have no idea what that button is for, so I can't really, like, complain about this, because I, I don't, like, I, I'm not an elevator person, like, I don't, I just, this is just, you know, I don't know. I'm just mortified that the help button and the alarm button aren't connected. Now, like, I wouldn't trust that. Nope. Mm -mm. You're in a death trap. Forget that crap. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Thank you guys so much for watching. If you look right here, you'll see a playlist. Um, it should be... I'll probably make it my crappy off-brands playlist. And then down here... <coughs> annoy the voice crack! Down here! <laughs> and down here, you'll see a recommended video. Over here is my logo. You tap that, you can subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.